Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Big Red EDC. And welcome to this edition of Channel Chat. And with me today is Kevin from Lefty EDC. How's it going, man? Hey, man. It's going good. Going great. That's good. That's good. Now, Lefty EDC, kind of new to the YouTube scene, been around Instagram for a while. And some really good Instagram content, as a matter of fact. And now you've jumped into the YouTube foray. So I'll tell you, well, let's just start by, how about you tell everybody a little bit about yourself? Yeah, sure. Um, so my name is Kevin. Uh, I am left-handed, hence the uh, idea there for Lefty EDC. And um, I've been into gear for a, a long time, but I really kind of dove into uh instagram and youtube and stuff the, this last year um when i discovered instagram like in march i guess it was probably coinciding with the shutdowns and everything yeah uh, i started spending a lot more on knives and stuff and i discovered instagram <laughs> just started posting pictures of my knives and making clever you know tags or whatever um and yeah i just kind of really dove into it there started talking to people which is the best part about this community oh yeah no um, kidding. yeah and i just basically show off gear and mainly knives and try to give a lefty's perspective on things um they're not only left-handed knives sometimes i get shit for that um but i try to give my perspective from you know being left-handed so that's kind of what i'm trying to do and you know what i am I'm just trying to, I don't really, I can't really think off the top of my head, anybody that really, really talks from a left-handed individual's perspective. Yeah, well, there's some guys, I know a lot of uh, guys out there, if we're talking about like YouTubers, uh, are left-handed and, you know, I hear them say it all the right, time. Right, right. Like, uh ocd for edc justin's yep. a lefty yeah um well there's a bunch i just can't think of it right now um but they don't really go into that i think they've learned from a young age to just do things right-handed a lot or deal with the right-handed stuff right and i was just stubborn as hell about it until recently i've really not you know I've let go of it. I used to only carry knives that had reversible clips or sure. were made for a lefty. Sure. And I just missed out on so many cool designs that um, I just broke. <laughs> and now the floodgates are open. Right. So, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little crazy. Well, and actually, it's funny that you mentioned Justin, because yes, he definitely is. And have you seen that new CME thing he's come out with? Yeah, that's funny. I actually was... Um, I messaged him on Instagram earlier today. Um, I was hope I don't have any spider coast. Actually, the only one I have here is the uh, the bombshell from uh, Jake from Bearded Gear. The one danger pickle. To me. Yeah, <laughs> danger pickle. I love it. He's got a knack for nickname. Oh, I know. Um, but that's the only one I have right now, and it's I sold them all. I had a pair of three in S forty five. I had a, a pair of three lightweight. I had a Watu, I had a Sage 5, I've had some other ones, and I just slowly sold them all because as a lefty, that compression lock just sucks. Like, I yeah. would drop knives. Yeah. Uh, I actually, excuse me, I actually sent uh, my pair of three lightweight to Ray from Everyday City Carry. Mm -hmm. uh, this is before I had the channel. I was just, like, sending him knives to check out and stuff, and um, I busted the tip. I just kept dropping it and um, I just sent it to him. I was like, here, you can have it. Cause he just got like a KME or something. Right. Like, give it a shot. See if you can sharpen it. Um, it just, so I got rid of them all. And uh, today I was like, let me message him. See if maybe he could sell me a package. Like, you know, with the CME on there. Like, Cause I know he's a, he's in the collector's club. So he's oh, got yeah. a ton of spider codes oh. laying around. I figured oh, yeah. <laughs> he could hook me up. And I could buy one off him with it on there. And then I could, you know, do a review on it or whatever. So there he's got to go. look into that for me. So that's a yeah. good idea. Yeah. That's a really good idea. And he's yeah, definitely, that, he's definitely in that. If he's definitely got some spider coats. 
Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, he's, <laughs> it's crazy. I like watching his videos just to see the the new ones that he gets. Um, him and uh, uh, Keith, Kevin, Ken. Uh, oh yeah, I love that guy. Yeah, and, uh, he's doing right now. He was doing uh, like he was doing a video for each month of 2020, and what Spider Co's came out. <laughs> so right, it's like 20 Spider Co's in each video, or uh, Spider Co's. Spider Co. Uh, yeah, but yeah, that guy's awesome. But yeah, anyway, that CME looks cool. Um, definitely something I want to check out because I really like a lot of Spider Co's. I just sure can't use them and it just kind of got old for me and i just sold them all off so i hear that. um yeah but hopefully they do something about that you know uh change the lock or or something because they make they advertise it basically as like an ambi lock like the axis lock but it's not i mean not functionally anyway no and uh, well i mean i tell you what even i mean being right-handed and that's pretty much what a compression lock is made for Right, but I tell you what, even the CME, even for a right hand, it just makes it a little easier. Yeah, I mean it does. Yeah, you don't I have heard. to. You just, I mean, it's just right there, so it's not right. even a. It's not even. You have issue. one. I have one. I haven't got it on my knife yet, though. He sent okay, me one. Gotcha. I got. I'm one. just wondering, as I guess lefty and righty, how. Because I know it sticks a little proud, right, of the uh, scale. So I wonder if you could push down on it at all while you're gripping and maybe disengage. That would be my only concern. Right. But he's pretty thorough, so I'm guessing he thought well, of that. Okay. I don't know if you can see this, but see how I've got the grip? I got my PM2 here. Right. Yep, yep. How I'm holding my PM2, how I you're usually right hold here. it, my hand really isn't going to make contact with it now i think it does stand maybe just a little if at all like i said i haven't got it on there yet i'm trying to decide which one i'm going to put it on to be perfectly honest with you are you you have a lot of what pm2s or a lot no, of I got, in no i no. i have like i think i have three of them with a the compression lock okay. i'm just trying to decide which one i'm going to actually put it on but yeah i mean if it was on the yeah. pm2 i don't well, think it would, would be try it out on one you use yeah yeah uh-oh are you good i don't yep. know if you cut yep. out for a second or if that was yeah, me. it's all good it's all good we're here uh, but yeah i would i would try the one you use the most so you actually well, it would probably it. be this one then yeah yeah it would be this one then it would be this pm2 that's the one i use that's the most the, the big red pm2 yeah yeah <laughs> What uh, what steel is that? Is that like a sprint run or is it just? The it's the M three ninety. It's the M three ninety. Oh, okay. So it's the uh, is it DLT? DLT, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah they do a lot of uh, knives. Perfect for you, huh? Did you, well, that's uh, the only... did you get the smock? Yes, I did. <laughs> but it's uh, it's I don't have it right now. It's it was on loan to uh, tier one. Got gotcha. you. So yeah, it's Justin's I think cool. he just sent it back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's a good guy. Well, and that's just it. And here again, we talk about this pretty much on every channel chat. But I tell you what. Of course. It's, it's just amazing, you know, when you're starting out. And I don't know if you've experienced this. I know, like you said, you've loaned out a lot of knives, like to Ray and yeah. stuff. But, I mean, you start a channel and, you know, people start to follow you. And then they're just like, hey, I've got this knife and this knife and this <laughs> knife. You want to review them? And I'm like you yep. you know you don't know me from adam but here you are you're willing to send me your knife and people were just like yeah. that you know it, it's it's awesome i mean uh i literally was just texting or messaging on instagram with a guy who was like hey i got this custom uh lefty coming in and i have this other one and i'll send them to you once they come in um no problem like uh, okay sure uh you know i have the bombshell here from jake um, I have knives all over the place from people, um, from Joe, the knife flicker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have the, the crossroads and he sent me this from the pass around group, the, uh, VDK Strix. This yeah. thing's really cool. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be careful because this thing could chop my finger off. Oh dude, that um, thing's a, that thing's a guillotine, man. Yeah, it is. I have some, uh, assisted knives here from, uh, oh, see, I hit the lock. I hate this lock. 
assisted knives from uh, Brad, uh, Mild Manor DDC, sent me yeah. these, uh, along with his VLD. And I had a guy on Instagram, uh, Sharp underscore Marbles, Doug. He's he's awesome. Check yep. out his, uh, yeah. And uh, he sent me his Bureau Impulse and a CKF uh, 520. And it's just like, here, wow. you want to check them out? And it was That's the awesome. first, like, anything I did with that guy. Um, and then uh, my buddy Kyle, DTOM Knives. Oh, yeah. Here. You bet. Um, another great dude. Uh, mm-hmm. He... He was getting, he just got a 523 and he was saying, oh, I'd love to compare those. So I, I asked Doug, I was like, Hey, can I send him the 520? He's like, Yeah, sure, no problem. Um, so I sent those off to Kyle. It's just amazing. I mean, oh, yeah. Um, you're, I mean, he sent me a thousand dollars worth of stuff. He doesn't know me at all. Yeah. Um, I just, that's the best thing about this community, in my opinion, is the people. Oh, just for sure. Talk, Without question. talking to them. Uh, the, the the giveaways and the um, donations and stuff that people do raffles when somebody's in trouble um it just there's nothing better honestly yep yep and like i said i'm doing i've done i've done a few of those i'm doing the one for uh, ti addiction and grateful panic right now and so okay. many so many people have sent me it's just awesome as a matter of fact i just got another box from uh you familiar with Rodney, uh, Garacor EDC? Yep. Yeah. He just yeah, sent he me a box a of stuff. Too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, that's, that's just it. That's he was great. a recipient a few back. months ago, yeah. and he's our. You know, he's like, "Hey, man, y'all help me out. Here you go." And I'm like, "See, and that's just awesome, man. I mean, it, it's just nah, too it's, cool." It's cool. Yeah, I sent Kyle. That was how I met Kyle. Uh, DTO on knives and gear. I uh, I reached out to him when he was doing the raffle for rodney i was like hey and i sent him like four or five knives for that and we've been like best buds ever since that's um, awesome so it's just amazing but i didn't know you had one going on um uh, are they are you doing raffle spots or uh, i'm doing just taking donations for stuff because i'll definitely send it's, something it's back be- it's basically direct donation to okay. uh the gofundme and then you just email me the receipt and you get it's five dollars you know if you donate five dollars you get an entry ten is you know right. what i mean five dollars per entry and then i just yeah. got is a it re- up sorry is it up on your instagram i'll uh i'll check it out get the link and i'll send i think i posted on instagram the- but it's mainly mostly on youtube youtube all right i'll yeah. look up the video I'll get sorry I'll get i wasn't something. aware of that one no that's all right i'll get something i should i need to get something up on instagram so i should do yeah. that yeah I have noticed there's a whole separate like community. We're all the same, right? But on YouTube, you have certain people. And then on Instagram, it's like another set of people who don't yeah. check your YouTube or vice versa. It's kind of right. funny that way. Cause right. for me, it's intermingled. Like if I follow you on Instagram and you have a YouTube, I'm watching, you right. know, or I try anyway. <laughs> there's right. so many channels right. these days. Oh, I know. Um, it's hard to keep yeah. up. It's really hard to keep up. It, it's actually been tough because I have a full-time job, right? And um, I have a baby and I obviously have a wife and I need to pay attention to those people. <laughs> well, of course, um, of course. And I'm, I'm like, lately, my head's always on my phone and I can tell it's starting to, um, you know, cause a little bit of discomfort. So I'm going to have to figure something out. I just need to put the phone away at a certain point. Yeah. Because I could sit there all night on Instagram or on uh uh, Reddit knife swap. I'm a huge proponent of knife swap, by the way. Right on. If you want to get into that, but right um, yeah, so I'll sit there all night on it and not realize like the time just flies. Oh, it does. And yeah. you know, so I'm starting to feel a little bad about that. So I gotta, I gotta work on that. 2021 <laughs> resolution. There right? you go. There you go. Yeah. No, it, it it is. You get. You definitely have to. You definitely have to. Now, for me, it's it's a little easier because my wife and I actually work opposite shifts. She works during the day and I work in the evening, right? So yeah. when I'm here in the morning, there's nobody here. So I'm trying to you right. know, do all my catch up and stuff. And usually when I get home at night, you know, the last couple of weeks have been a little different, but because yeah. obviously I'm not working right now, but right. the, 
And then when I get home at work, well, she's already in bed, you know, she gets up at four o'clock in the morning to go to work. I get home at 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. That's usually when I shoot my videos. Right. So, so, so you're saying your method is just never see your family. <laughs> on the weekend, normally, normally it's on the weekend. Yeah. And I really, I'm just kidding. That's funny. and that's kind of why SKL was <laughs> kind of became so late. Because, yeah, it was just that was just what worked. And I know it works for me and it might not work for everybody else. But no, nah, it's people love it, man. Oh, I, dude, I've it's definitely tuned in a few times. I, I love it. It's such a it, it's such a, a clever name, too. <laughs> I that, love that. Oh, that's all her. Oh, that was your wife. Yeah, that would. Yeah, oh, I, I have to give cool. full credit to her because. I was sitting here and I was like, man, I, you know, I really want to do this. They're, they're fun. And I was like, but the only time I'm going to be able to do it is like later on a, probably a Saturday night. And she's like, right. well, that'd be cool. You could just call it Saturday night live. And I'm like, <laughs> it was just hanging there. Right. I just, I, so both, obvious. <laughs> I both love and hate you both at the same time right now, because yeah. that's an absolutely brilliant idea. You gotta and do I'm it now. really mad that I didn't come up with it. <laughs> well, so, yeah. No, I give her wives, full credit. Yeah. I give her full credit for that. Wives have a way of doing that where you're just like, oh, man. I oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. So, hey, I saw you yeah. had your uh, your video on the Mini Crooked River. That yeah. just went up. So yep. what's your, I mean, I know I watched the video and stuff, but I mean, What's your, just give us a quick down and dirty on what you think. So this is a really interesting night for me. Uh, I never really had interest in it. I've never really been into traditional looking knives. And I think I would call this traditional looking. This one's a little bit different. It's been modded. But um, I just never thought to check this knife out. And my buddy, Rodney, uh, Rodney Pearson, he's pretty big on Instagram and, and everything too. Pearson um, Custom Knives, Ryan. His son, right? His son is uh, Ryan Pearson, who yep. who uh, does the knives. Um, he has like twenty of these, I think. Oh yeah, he um, likes his. He likes them. Yep, and he's always raving about it. And I finally saw one on Knife Swap, and this guy was selling this thing uh, for one hundred and thirty dollars. I mean, these are like, I think two hundred new, and they're discontinued at this point. And this one's modded with a blue uh, pivot collar and uh, G10 scales and a blue backspacer. And I got the original hardware with it. It's dead centered. There's nothing wrong with this at all. I have no idea why he posted it for 130 bucks. But I was like, all right, I got to just snag it and try it out now. And I absolutely love this thing. The, the ergonomics are just fantastic. Like I have a... I'd say it's a large to XL size hand and it just fits perfectly. This thing is not mini, um, but it's mini compared to the Crooked River, which is apparently enormous. I've never checked one out. No, I've never, um, I've never had the, the regular Crooked River either, but yes, the, the mini Crooked River is a full size knife. Oh yeah, for sure. And it, it, it just fits so well in my hand. Um, just where my thumb lands on the blade is just amazing. Yeah. I love this clip point. I mean, this thing's just sweet. And this thing has very minimal play, and it just drops shut. And that's one thing I heard was that the action on these was not fantastic on the clothes, but it's awesome. You have a cut. Was that from the custom shop, or did you put it together? This is the Casey Underwood Art Edition. They okay. did a few. They did largemouth. They did steelhead. Oh, it's a fish. I see. Yeah, that's a largemouth bass. Oh, I know. oh, that's cool. He's chasing the... Uh, oh, that's cool. Yeah, and then this one, this was a gift from Zach. This was an amazing gift. Zach stuff? Yep. Yeah, yep. I've heard so many good things about Zach. Every, I swear, every video I watch, regardless of what channel it is, they're pulling out a package that Zach just sent. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it sounds like Zach, you know? And yeah. Zach, oh, Zach is a... I mean, him and I have kind of, well, I mean, we've, we've, I mean, we've come, become pretty, pretty good friends for sure. 
Oh, right. You guys did that. Uh, I saw you did like a holiday. Give, it was like the big giveaway. Yeah. Tell, tell me about that a little bit. Oh, the holiday, the, the super awesome holiday giveaway is what we called it. But yeah, yeah, yeah him and I put that together. Um, I think it ended up being 38 contributors that got in on it. And it was just, it was really, really awesome. It was, I've been wanting to do a big old giveaway like that forever. And it, it was just, it was so much fun. And How I've many done, packages did you send out? Oh man, let me think. We is had, it over at this point? It is, it is, yes. Well, kinda. <laughs> Unfortunately, okay. I'm still waiting for a couple of packages to arrive at their destination. And they were sent a while ago. You, those are the international one. Oh, um, gotcha. Keeping my fingers crossed. But I think we had three international and 15 in the States. And we're talking about medium flat rate boxes. Right. Pretty much yeah, chuck full big. of gear. That's cool. I think I saw... Uh, Oh, it's so funny. On Instagram, there's this account and it cracks me up. It's like knives, titty, patina or something. Yes. You know what I'm talking about? TPK. 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 I don't, I don't know much about it. And obviously I've only ever seen her from the uh, chest uh, down, but um, I think she did an unboxing on Instagram. She did. The box she she did. Yes, she did. Uh, it's so funny the way she like takes stuff out of the box and she's like, Ooh. <laughs> well she funny. doesn't she doesn't talk. She doesn't right. say anything. Oh, she doesn't. Okay. No, I didn't even say... notice. That's <laughs> what, well, okay. <laughs> yeah. 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 I trust me, I get it. I get it. That's but, the sound, whatever, but uh, dude, I tell you what. It, that... It's in your face. It's well, yeah. Face. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But dude, to be perfectly <laughs> honest with you, what she's got going to me, I think it's brilliant. Oh I think it's, it's absolutely brilliant. I mean, it's going to take off. She's getting tons of followers. She's enjoying it, obviously. Yeah. It, it, to me, it's just kind of hilarious that she literally puts knives in her breasts and patinas them. Like, it's just funny. I would have never thought to do that. No, uh, no, I, I wouldn't have either. Obviously. <laughs> I, I would, I you know, it might work for me. But um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That account cracks me up every time I see it, though. Uh, to the point where I told my wife, I was like, check out this account like and i had no problem just flashing my wife <laughs> oh that's what i did the same thing i was like man this girl this girl's got it going on she's yeah. she's smart and my wife looked at it and she's like oh yeah she's like that's that's brilliant <laughs> i mean especially when uh, you think about it so my instagram if you scroll through my instagram feed you're not going to see any women on it like usual most guys i would say you know i'm 32 so most guys at 32 they probably have a feed full of supermodels and bikinis and whatever right <laughs> right um mine's just knives and gear <laughs> and then occasionally she pops up I'm like okay you know <laughs> <laughs> exactly mine's the same way it's just knife knife yeah. knife 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 <laughs> yeah i'm literally i i think i have a problem like my life is knives. I just love them. So I love the hobby. I love everything about it. It just is like, I don't know. It's so weird to me because nine months ago, that wasn't the way I was. Sure. And I would say I'm a much happier person right now than I was nine months ago. So I don't know. It's it's doing something. Well, good. Good. Well, you've had yeah. the last nine months have been pretty eventful for you. Yeah, that's true too. I should <laughs> I should say uh, the birth of my daughter was uh, what made me so happy. Well, I Not mean, nice. it's a combination of things. <laughs> it's just a yeah. combination of things, and you know, and I say that I, I've said this before too. Um, when I got out of the military, you know, I mean, yeah, I had my family and my job and my friends and all this other, but there was just there was something, and I didn't even realize it you know, consciously, but there was something kind of missing. And it was actually my son, my oldest son that we, we talked about before. Right. And he's like, I started talking about this, you know, the, the EDC community and just, you know, how great everybody's been. 
and he was the one that said so it sounds like to me it's kind of like the camaraderie you had with the people in the military and it was like a slap to the forehead it's like dude you're you're right it is that's exactly what it is right and you kind of got it back and for me i never had that right so getting it now is just awesome experiencing that camaraderie you know for the first time how long were you in the uh the navy 20 years and 20 years and 11 days 20 years 11 days so you've been all who's counting (laughs) yeah right um kind of sort of mainly mainly east coast um well i mean we were stationed here on i was stationed on the east coast for 10 years and i was stationed on the west coast for 10 years um okay so you never went to like japan or anything I've been to Japan once. Okay. The only places I've been to on the east co- or on one. the west coast were <laughs> Japan and Saipan. Saipan, okay. That sounds like um, it sounds like the place from Surf Ninjas. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's a classic. And, but yeah. I've been I've been on quite a few places on the east coast overseas. I mean, England, Holland, Norway, uh, Scotland. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's that's a lot. And that was um, that was one of the biggest reasons I went into the to the well, military, but navy obviously was I grew up in the Midwest, you know. I grew up in the middle of right. I don't know how a kid from the middle of cornfields ended up on the ocean, but it happened. So Well, that's why you probably wanted to do it. Exactly. Was it were you from Indiana? Is Nebraska. that right? Nebraska. Nebraska. Okay. Yeah. I remember watching Same difference. Your, uh... Same difference. <laughs> really? <laughs> Yeah, I watched your like Q and A video last year where you sat on the front porch with your wife yeah. and the dog. Yeah. So I got some I got some deets on that. Uh, but yeah, that's that's I mean traveling is awesome. I wish I could do more of it now. Um, it's just really hard with work and a kid and all that stuff. Even oh, yeah. before then, uh, and then obviously now with COVID. Oh but, yes, um, yes. I was actually uh, I was born in Germany. And no kidding. I lived there for yeah. I lived there for like three years, and then we moved to the U.S. My dad wasn't in the military; he was just um, corporate job. But um, okay, uh, I have family there, so I try to go back. And last time I went was two Christmases ago. I think me and my wife, or my wife and I, went, and it's just so cool over there. Um, I really want to check out like Eastern Europe but I've just never made it. Every time I go, I just go to Germany and see my family. Right. And I sort of regret doing that. Not that I don't want to see my family, but I would just spend like two weeks, you know, at their house. Sure. Because sure. I want to see them. I get you. But I feel like I should have ventured out a little bit, um, but obviously I still have time. So <laughs> see Germany's one place that I haven't been that I really would like to go because that's primarily where my family, you know, my heritage is. There you go. A German beer. Yeah. Sign. So I oh, definitely is, would like your, to go. That's your heritage, huh? Yeah, pretty much. Like pretty much, mainly all on my dad's side, and a good portion of my mom's. So just because you know, it's just one of yeah, those things. No, that makes perfect sense. Have you ever done like Ancestry.com, like a DNA test? I have not done that. I have not. Now I know. Now my mom has been doing. She was going back like through the family and connecting the dots and doing all that type of thing, you know. Right. And yeah, that's yeah, how we know stuff or whatever. Right. Right. But no, I've never done the like DNA the to find out exactly what my entire makeup is. Right. I should do that just to see. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. It's not too expensive. I mean, you probably do it for like 80 bucks now. Right. Uh, my parents gave it to us as like a Christmas gift one time. Oh, that's cool. Um, and yeah, mine was like, mine's like 97% Germanic. <laughs> it's like ridiculous. Everybody else in my family is like in the 60s or 70s. And then there's like Eastern Europe, England, yeah. that kind of stuff. Yeah. And mine is just like 97%. German I just 
kind of find it funny because growing up, I always was like, I'm 100% German. Like, I just thought it was cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. And to find out that I actually kind of am uh, oh, sure. is pretty sweet. But um, I, uh, I'm i kind of interested in some of the knives you have there because sure. I don't I don't know. I think I don't know three of them. So I got the mini grip. I think the Rhea, right? Yep, there's uh, a Rhea. And I'm not recognizing the other three. Well, so. this one, this one here, you've got the Viper Dan. This is the Viper Dan one. It's kind of like a friction Eight. folder. Okay. It's That's listed as a front flipper some places. But if you read in a couple of articles, they didn't really want it to be a front flipper. Okay. But uh, they so it's it more of a like friction a... folder. Okay, you're just supposed to use it to open it slowly. Right, slowly. right. And I mean, this one, you're not front flipping this one unless you do something to the pivot because it's pretty. Yeah, it looks a little stiff. There. It's pretty stiff and sturdy. And I'm actually, for a non locking knife, I'm okay with that. You know what I mean? Okay, that's an interesting knife now, to pick up. I would never think to. It looks like a 520, actually. It does, kind of. Yeah. Yeah, it's got, it's got a bit of that shape to it. But now, yeah. now, honestly, for a knife this big, I would probably want it to be a locking knife. Honestly, yeah, it's, that is interesting. But because your your friction, you know, your tab that you're supposed to hold on to in a friction folder, it's not all that long, right? So to get into some real serious work, eh? You might <laughs> not, you know. It's just one of those things. I like the knife. The ergos are great. The ergos are fantastic. Right. The I love. I mean, I'm a I'm a drop point guy. So, oh, dude, I'm a big drop point guy. That's definitely my number one blade shape. But tantos are growing on me big time. See, now I still haven't got into the tanto. Th I I still haven't that that hasn't grabbed me yet. Really? Yeah, well, so I'm just I, not. I never. Yeah. I was never interested in Tantos either. I thought they were kind of tactical, you know? Yeah. And uh, they just slowly grew on me. I don't even know what the first one was. I got to look around. Um, I'm not sure. But I have uh, I have the, the uh, Bounty Hunter Microtech Ultra Tech here. And this thing is a Tanto. And it just, I love this thing. Now, see, there again, I'm not big on OTFs. But if I was going to have one, it would be that one because, <laughs> well, I'm a huge Star Wars fan and growing, you know, and Boba Fett was always my favorite and I don't have one yet. Oh, you got to get one. I had I two. I had the, uh, I had the 80 UTX 85. Oh, did you? And I just, actually, it's kind of funny. The, uh, the finale for Mandalorian, yeah. I don't want to spoil it for anybody, but at the time I had just gotten both of them back from Kyle and I got to sit there on the couch that night and just, <laughs> it was so much fun. And then I traded it like the next day for something else. Cause it just felt a little bit, you know, like I too much. And then here I have uh, my cooler tonight. I brought a cooler to keep my beers cold. Cool. Is, uh, there my you wife go. got me this. That's for, awesome. Uh, it was like one of our, it was like our first Christmas. She got me this and it actually has a, uh, hang on. Does it work? <laughs> oh man, that's cool. I love it. Yeah, that that's thing's cool. awesome. That's but, cool. Uh, anyway, that kind of got me into Tantos, and then I got what else? I get? I got the Chavez two two nine. Oh yeah. Recently. Yeah yeah. Absolutely love this knife. Actually, I love it so much that today in the mail I got my blackout. Oh two, two, yeah, nine. there you go. Um, this thing's sick. I, I probably should sell one because I'm not made of money, and do I really need two? Um, and then I got the uh, Satori 2.0 from CKF. Woo! This thing is absolutely sweet. Jake uh, Bearded Gear put me onto that one, and then the last one I got today as well is the uh, the Birch Tree. Secant or secant? I don't know how you say it. Oh man! Um, but this thing's weird. This is the same guy that uh, that designed the uh, bombshell. Oh, Michael okay. Birch. Okay. Okay. Sure. 
it's it is similar in a lot of ways obviously it's also different uh but i call this right here i'm calling this the poon schoon so that's the new name for that little uh divot there <laughs> The poon spoon. Yeah. I meant to say spoon, not schoon. Spoon. Okay. Poon spoon. Um, but anyway, that's uh, that's what's happened to me in the last month in terms of tantos. I had the, uh, I got this like a couple months ago, and then all in the last like two or three weeks, I've gotten those those other four. So they the tantos multiply. <laughs> those are some pretty nice knives. Those are really good looking I knives. Like These the, are sweet. I got. I just got this one in here, oh, a little while ago, but this is a, this is a Kubi, it's the 159, and it's, okay. it's Tanto, it's a nice yeah. Tanto blade on it, and Spidey flickable and stuff, and they do, I really like how Kubi does their carbon fiber. Yeah, it's, I have yet to check one out, and I've been hearing a lot of good things from you and uh, the Big Boar, Scott Knife, uh, Scott Big Boar Knife yeah. Gear. Yep. Um, he's always posting videos on Kubis, and some of them are, they look gorgeous. Titanium frame locks, and I just haven't given him a shot yet. Um, he just really did that to. video on the uh, the Jerry Jelly one. Oh, which one is it? It's like Jerry the, Jelly. I love that name. It's like 290 something is the number. Gosh darn it. I can't remember the I name. I hate of it. when they do numbers. I hate. Oh, I can't remember. Two Sun does numbers. I know. And... I'm No, there's not even. Yeah. It, it's not even going to register. Or like because... Artisan. Artisan does, like, they don't put the name of the knife on the packaging. It's just like the oh, number in your. Yeah. It's... Yeah. 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 Um, numbers. I, I'm not good with remembering numbers anymore. Yeah. But my favorite thing about Tantos, uh, just to kind of close that out, is this secondary tip here Yeah, is just awesome. Because what I use my knives for, and I admit fully that I barely use my knives. So <laughs> I'm, just, I'm a collector and I'm a carrier, uh, but I don't use them a lot. I open packages and I cut tape and strings and that kind of stuff. I don't. I don't just cut my cardboard down to put it in the recycle. I shove the whole box in. Like, I don't see why I'm chopping up cardboard. But that's just me anyway. Um, but this <laughs> tip right here is just so good for packaging. Because if you don't want to stab into the packaging. Oh, yeah. And risk, and risk you know, cutting into or whatever, messing up what's in there. You can just drop this little tip into the tape and slide and it that's the number one thing that tanthers are great for in my opinion and that's the only thing i really do with knives so i think that's why tanthers are really growing on me right now sure no yeah. that's a great point it is it's a, it's perfect for that you're not like you said you're not risking getting it you know getting it into the package or anything like that it's a great and i totally yeah totally agree with that point that's the one thing with drop points that, um, like this one I have here is the, uh, this is the Ohlone Knives Goat version two. Uh, I think one of the reviews I saw in the version one, because I absolutely loved that knife and I wanted one so bad, was on your channel. Didn't you, didn't you have one of these? I did. Or am I? Okay. I, I had it on loan, yes. Um, and he came back out with it. Now it's made by Riot. And... I love this thing just to spoil that review, but, um, he, the original one was carbon fiber. I don't know if you remember, but it had yep. the inlay of like, yep. yeah. So what he told me was the designer, Derek Costa, he told me that, uh, Riot couldn't use the carbon fiber that they had for some reason. I don't know if there was like issues with it. And he also wanted to do my Cardo on the version two but it was too thin and Riot wouldn't use it. So that's why he did only G10 on these. Okay. Um, but anyway, sorry, I kind of no. um, went on a tangent there. But with the drop point, the packaging thing is you really have to like tip the knife to get it in or you got to use the belly to slice, which right. I don't know. It doesn't work as well as just dropping a, a tip in with the Tanto or um, even with the reverse Tanto, like on this Malibu here. Um, you have yeah. that point down here and you can just sink it in 
Yep. And cut. So again, I love drop points. It's probably my favorite, um, my favorite blade shape, but it does have some drawbacks when it comes to that. But in terms of like slicing and stuff, Having that shape is awesome. So it's really just use case, I guess, you know? So here, here's a spoiler alert. See the package right here? You got a goat in there? There is one in there. You want to you wanna unbox it? On, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do an unboxing when we're done. I'm going to do I got All a bunch right. of them to do, but that's what's in there. Yeah, it's a version two. Uh, my good buddy, okay. John, Grateful Panic that I mentioned yeah. earlier. He got one and it just wasn't. He just, you know, it just wasn't for him or whatever. And I was yeah. like, well, I liked the version one. And I was like, Dude, and he's like, well, it's for sale. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I mean, other than uh, other than the um, the G, because I'm not a fan of G10 to be 100% honest. If I can get carbon fiber, micarta, or just titanium, I will. Yeah. Um, but this G10 is done extremely well. You can't feel the transitions at all. Yeah. Um, and, you know, if he had to go with G10, whatever. And um, this one is the Urban EDC Supply exclusive. Okay. Because it's green G10. And then they also did a Jade uh, Urban EDC Supply did. Um, but what I was, what I'm curious about is which one you have there. Do you have the. Uh, the green one or are you gonna wait to show everybody i think it's well it's the red and black one. Oh, okay okay it's the red that and was, black one that's an interesting one i i wasn't too, i'm not a guy i'm not a big guy on uh black knives ironically because i just got this but uh, <laughs> i normally don't like black knives but that one really did look good to me i saw um jd shadowborn hanks yeah um he was selling his today on instagram Oh, was he, he has the uh, he has the black one. He had a great deal on it too. He was listing it for like two hundred bucks. Yeah. Um, but he said it was just too small for him. And yeah. he's the one who he's the one who uh, got me hooked on this uh, birch tree. Uh, secant, secant. I don't know how you say it. Um, <laughs> but he he like just raved on and on about this, and he just said the goat was a little small for him. The action on this is ridiculous. Now I will uh, tell you now that knife. Well, I guess it has something to do with my hand size or whatever. And that's a little bit bigger knife. So that one might not be eh. an issue. Is it not? It looks bigger. I'll put it that way. Here's a banter. So. Oh, okay. So it's, it's not, not really. really. It's not really. It's not that big. I mean, I would but, classify it as maybe on the low end of medium. And what else does everybody here bug out? Oh, Okay. No, so it's, it's then it's not as it's big the as size I was. Size of a bug out, yeah. Yeah, so it's not as big as what I was thinking it was. Oh no, it's a smaller knife. The blade yeah. is listed at like two point nine or something. Oh yeah, it does. It looks when you were just showing it, it looks bigger than that. I guess it does. I don't know. It does. Yeah, it does. But that's the kind of knife he uh, he makes these smaller ones. I just love that action. Oh yeah. I don't know, Riot. I'm on a Riot kick right now. Um. um I don't own yeah. any Riots. I've looked at a well, few. you do now. <laughs> well, yeah. And well, I've made the Riot made I've had. And this oh, will be the first one. I don't have one. any of those. Yeah, yeah. This no, will no, be I the only first have one. Collaboration. Yeah. Yeah. This will be the first actual Riot built knife that I own. You're going to be impressed. I mean, they're, they're really good builds. I mean, oh, if you yeah. compare it to like Wii or, well, you've had them in hand. I guess you just haven't owned one. You said. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I like the K2 and the, you know, I've had several yeah. Riot built knives, but this will actually be the first one that I actually own. Yeah. Like the, uh, just to warn you a little bit, when you open the goat, if, if when you uh, close it, if it's a little bit like stiff uh -huh. or gritty, uh -huh. um, that's how mine came. It like was really hard to just swing shut. Now it's it's never gonna drop because it's small, right? But right. it's very smooth now. Okay. Um, I had to take it apart and clean it out. There was some gunk in there, and this sure. came brand new. Um, so if you notice that, I would recommend just taking it apart and cleaning it out, and that like totally made it a hundred percent better. Excuse me. Yeah. Cool. 
Uh, so I interrupted you. You were showing me. You were showing me the knives. We got. Oh, through oh no, no, not at all. Um, we're, we're just. And then this yeah. one. Well, this one. Well, both of these actually are. You know, the new Sen cuts. Oh, okay. This okay. is. The, I just got this one in here. Not just a couple scepter, days ago. Right. That's the scepter. Yep. Okay. I That's saw that on scepter. Slicey's channel. Yeah. Man, everybody's digging that thing. I dude, it's my car. I am. I am digging this one. It's my car. Yeah. It's really it's got a great feel to it. Now, the first two that I got, I got the the Actium here. I mean, and I kind of, I didn't, I wasn't bashing it, but the Actium yeah, yeah. looks a lot like a Backlash. And, yeah. And the Sidious looks a lot like a Fracture. Like a Fracture. Yeah, I've heard that. But I like the, I like the Backlash and I like the Fracture. <laughs> so yeah you know well that's it's, true and it's but this now this one it's kind of got it's a little bit kind of on its own that thing's cool man it kind of reminds me of the uh qsb penguin a little bit it does have a little bit of that feel to it yeah but i mean it's the action on it is just i mean it oh yeah it yeah. might have it might have got me <laughs> You gotta you know, love a. Uh, oh, you just cut yourself? I think no. <laughs> I I think I finally have the enough scar tissue built up. Oh yeah, yeah. I got plenty. I cut my the top of my thumb all the time. Being left-handed, um, it's kind of tough because when you. Oh, here I'll show you what I'm talking about. When I close a knife because I'm left-handed, I have to like drop the blade onto my. It's just kind of awkward oh, sometimes. That's why okay. I sold my uh, I sold my TRM Neutron because it kept cutting me. Because I I go to close it and then I don't get my thumb out of the way fast enough, and then it just kind of like drops right under my thumb. Ooh, where yeah. when, when you're right-handed, you can just push the lock bar, push it lands on your nail, and then you're good to go. Um, so if a if a knife is too drop shutty, it's kind of an issue left-handed. I still love that. But I almost, I won't even play with this Strix left-handed because <laughs> I'm, I'm oh, afraid is... of this knife. Oh, I hear you. When it, like, it just, it, it, uh, it's just too drop shut. Like, oh, that's, that, so yeah. I'd rather just use it right-handed. It's this thing's cool, though. It's a wicked, it's a wicked looking knife. There again, it's, the Tanto is a little bit too, too much for me. You know what I mean? Just what I, my taste, but it's super yeah. it's a super drop shutty knife man holy cow yeah it's cool but yeah uh the scent cuts the, you know i think i think what we was trying to do there i don't think they were trying to appease to us at all as enthusiasts i think they were just trying to have a line that would get gobbled up on amazon <laughs> Like, I think they were just trying to take over Amazon knife sales a little bit because they probably saw like Harns and there's some other brands that are on. Oh, yeah. Basically just Amazon. Yeah. And they sell like hotcakes because they're like 20, 25 bucks. Yeah. And they're half decent. And we probably just figured they could take a part of that market. Um, so I think that's why they didn't care so much about taking a design and reusing it sort of. Um but, you know, in our world, it kind of looks a little, you know, it's not great because we're just it's the same knife again. Thank you. you know? Yeah, yeah. No, that, and that's definitely, that definitely does play into it for sure. I think from what I have read, heard, I, I think the Sen Cut is basically going to take over the 9CR and the D2, I, I like think. I like 9CR. I do too. I have nothing. I have nothing wrong with it. I don't like D two just because I, I don't know, the rusting thing. I've had D two just rust sitting in my knife case, like zippered up. And I live in Pennsylvania. I don't live in like you know. I don't live on the coast or anything. Um, and it would just rust. And I would even put like uh, was it like Tough Glide? I put stuff on it. Uh -huh. I think I've learned uh recently to just use like gun clp or whatever right um but it would just rust randomly i've had n690 rust in my knife case after no use really and not being what you know i had a um 
I had a Blade HQ exclusive, what's that thing called? The Isanzo. Yeah. Um, is that a Fox knife, I think? Yeah. Um, and it just, oh, it was MKM. M MKM. Sorry. MKM. And um, it just rusted. In my in my knife case, it wasn't wet or anything, and I would always put a little bit of tough glide. I think it's called tough glide. I would put that on the blade and rub it in before I just put it in the case, and then you know I'd carry it once a month or whatever. And after like three months, it just was like I took it out and it has rust spots all over it. Really, um, very strange because N six ninety, as I understand, is a pretty stainless steel. Yes, that's um, the way I understand it as well. Yeah, so I reached out to MKM and Blade HQ, and uh, I'm actually wearing the Blade HQ shirt. But yeah. um, they uh, they just kind of referred me to MKM, and then Igor from MKM, um, he's like their rep or whatever. Mm -hmm. He contacted me. They sent me a new blade. Um, he wanted me to send the knife back, and I was like, I don't want to send it, you know, overseas during this pandemic and all this stuff. I can handle disassembly. Would you just send me a blade? And he was like, sure. And he just sent, he sent me a blade and I got like a little patch in there and stuff. It was really nice to them. Um, That's cool. I ended up, I ended up just selling it. <laughs> I gave the guy an extra blade, but um, I thought that was really good. I really, really appreciate um, good customer service oh, in yeah. any, in any industry, oh, yeah. but like, that's my, my full-time job is in customer service. I, you know, uh, oh, handle, really? okay. I handle it for a company, but anyway, um, so I have a really low tolerance for bad customer service. Sure. Um, I tend to, and I'm not the guy at the restaurant who's like yelling at the waitress. That's not what I'm saying. But if I have a bad experience, I'm going to let the company know, um, and I really appreciate it when I have the good experiences. And for the most part in the knife uh, community, I've had almost no problems. Um, the only one that stands out to me is um, Microtech. So um, when I got the UTX version of this, the UTX 85, mm -hmm. it had an issue where every like 10 times you would fire it, it would it would fail. It just wouldn't shoot out all the way or something was going on. And then you'd have to reset it. Um, and then after, you know, 10 deployments, it would do it again. And I watched some videos and I emailed them and I said, Hey, what can I do about whatever? And I got like a generic email that said, Hey, Kevin, here's a link. And they just sent me a link to like a maintenance video they posted on YouTube. And I did exactly what it said, and it did, nothing worked. I've tried different things, nothing worked. And I emailed them back like two or three more times, just like, hey, I, it didn't work. What else can I do? Can I send it in under warranty? And then I followed up a couple of times. I never heard back from it. To this day, this was like two months ago, I've, I have not gotten a response to any of my emails. Um, and obviously, you can tell it rubbed me the wrong way. Of course, of um, course. And I, I can't say that I blame yeah. you. I still keep this because um, it's a bounty hunter. Right, right. <laughs> That's really the only reason. But I don't really want to support Microtech that much now. Um, I've heard a lot of things about Tony Marfione, but I mean, I don't know any stories or anything. Right. Um, but that experience soured me a little bit. I actually did fix it myself. I ended up using Hoppy's number nine gun oil. And I poured that in there, shook it around, fired it a bunch of times, sprayed it out with canned air. And um, that seemed to work. WD-40 didn't. Um, nothing else worked, but that did. Uh, so oh, if anybody weird. has an issue with your Microtech, try that. Oh, there you go. There you go. Tips and tricks from Lefty EDC. There we go. Yeah. Chips, trips, uh, tips, tricks, and rants. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> right on. So what else you got handy? What else can you show us? Man, all right, so I basically have everything here because I was like, what if something comes up and I don't have it? And I really? got to run out of the room. <laughs> so I was like, I'm just going to bring everything up. Um, right now, my absolute favorite knife is the uh, Urban EDC Box F 5.5. 
Oh, nice. Um, this thing came out. I, well, they did a pre-order in the summer, and those people got them, I think, in like end of November or December sometime. Okay. But they dropped right after Christmas. They dropped a bunch, right? Okay. And I snagged this uh, titanium one, and mm. it literally stole knife of the year for me. Mm. Um, not that you know my knife of the year means much, but <laughs> I was pretty much dead set that the uh, Protec Malibu was going to win knife of the year. I mean, I pretty much knew that from the first time I touched a Malibu. Yeah. Um, but this thing came out and it just shocked me. It's just so amazing. The ergonomics are just phenomenal. Voxnez is a master at making a smaller knife feel big. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. And Riot, you know, they, um, they knock it out of the park too. I was just going to ask yeah. you, but that's Riot built as well. Yep. Yeah, this is gotcha. Riot built. It comes in this full titanium one, which I absolutely love that they did titanium on the uh, pivot and the hardware. So it's just like this monochromatic look. Um, it's to nice me, and that's clean way for better sure. Than, yeah, it's so much better than doing like a blue pivot collar or something like that. Um, but yeah, it comes in titanium, and then they have a natural micarta and a green micarta version, nice. which um, I don't know if you can get one right now. I think you can only get them on the secondary at this point. Sure. Um, but I've been raving about that thing since I got it. Um, I also have the uh, the Wii Banter. I just got this in. I was very staunchly against it because... Um, Ben left us out. He left the lefties out. This was an easy one to just drop an extra hole here and let us have a clip spot. Um, but he decided not to do it. And what happens a lot, and this is the answer I get from a lot of righties uh, or knife makers who don't do reversible clips, they always say, I wanted to keep the show side clean. Yeah. So they don't want to have an extra hole here or have a little you know groove cut out for the clip that's right. the answer you'll you'll always get um which to me i don't know i get it you you know it's your knife design you want to do what you want to do right. but i feel like it'd be easy sometimes uh, but anyway i held off on this one even after everybody raved about it um and i finally got one in the other day and this thing is awesome so uh, see now I'm really i was glad. i just I held off too because it was just, I don't know, something about the aesthetics. It just didn't stand out to me. It didn't. And then I got one in hand and I, I was like, really? It's just, it's an awesome knife. It's yeah. a fantastic knife. I mean, for being such a small knife and me having larger size hands, they just fit perfectly it's so weird and then your thumb rides up the blade it's just and it's so thin and slicey i mean this thing is just and my favorite part about this knife is the thumb stud i i don't know what it is but i just love the shape of these thumb studs yeah um it just works so well and it, everybody says oh it feels like it's assisted well it kind of does feel like it's assisted even though when I unboxed it, I thought the detent was a little weak because you can kind of, you know, just fail it like that. Yeah. But if you try it all, it just fires. It's really cool. Um, what else do I have? Oh, I just got in. Um, I don't know if you know much about Asher Knife Co. A little. Um, it's a newer brand from 2020. The guy who runs it, his name is Justin. Uh, he's an awesome dude. And basically, he... He could never bring him. There you go. Uh, Centauri. That's a cool one. Um, basically, he could never bring himself to spend more than 100 bucks on a knife. So he wanted to make a knife company where you could get more premium stuff and keep it under that $100 price point, basically. Sure. Um, so he sent me this prototype of the Asher uh, Spiro yep. a while back in the summer. Um and then he got feedback from some people. I think he sent it to a, a bunch of people. Um, and then the production model just came out. And 
I, he nailed it on the changes. I mean, the, it's contour G10 now. So on this one, let me shut this. On this one, it's like rough, kind of just slabs. It's not right. really like contoured at all. And then on this one, it's smooth G10 and it's kind of rounded. So it's contoured. Yeah, you, yep. Yep. You can see the contour. And it just feels so much better. Uh, just such a sweet knife. I mean, 75 bucks and you're yep. getting S35, G10, reversible deep carry clip. Um, he added these crazy huge thumb studs on this one. Uh, I think it's like, I think it's like an option. These are the normal ones. I think okay. it's like an option. You can add them. Um, but that's a cool one. I really like Asher Knife Co. He's just such a cool dude. And these days in my collecting, you know, it hasn't been that long that I've been collecting, but I've gotten to the point where I'm kind of collecting makers now. Um, okay. Yeah. Like if I, if I like, or designers, if I like the designer, I'm going to go towards that knife more. Like, I don't know, two months ago, this secant would have looked ugly to me. And it probably does look ugly to a lot of you people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is kind of ugly, but I really like Michael Birch because of the whole thing with the danger pick bull. Yeah. So it just made, it inclined me to want that knife. And that's kind of how it is with Asher. I just really like Justin. So I want to support him. Um, I'm that very I, same way with uh, Finch. Yes, dude. I wanted to talk about Finch with you. I forgot. I had it like written down. I want to talk about Finch. Um, I, I reached out to them because I have not checked out a Finch knife yet. Because when they first started coming out, same old story. They only did righty knives, and I wasn't into that yet. Um, but I reached out and I said, "Hey, can you? Would you mind sending me uh, like a demo model of the Takuna? I'd like to check that one out. That one just stood out to me. It's like a mini machete. Um, and they just they were like, sure, and they just sent me one for free. Yeah, they were like here, and I said, okay, let me know. I'll send it back in a couple of weeks." And he was like, no, carry it, enjoy it, keep it. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> is, that through, is that through Instagram? Yeah, yeah. I that's talked to that's I Spencer, Spencer, man. Spencer is yep. awesome. Spencer is absolutely fantastic. He's a wonderful, wonderful guy. And it's kind of funny. They, it, for me, it all started with the, the first one, the Runtley. Runtley. The Runtley. I watched it, your video, man. I know. And they hooked, I mean... When you, if you combine knives and fishing, pardon the pun, yeah. but you've got me hooked. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm there, you know, and I they love that. A lot, man. I love that little knife. And he just, he hit me up on Instagram and he's like, dude, your review is that they're like, we'd love it. We loved your review of the Runtley. And I'm like, okay, well, I mean, I was just, I was just telling you what I thought. I loved it, you know. <laughs> And he's like, no, it's great. And man, but, it's, and I, it's over there and I can't reach it. That's why I need the wireless headphones. Um, yeah. <laughs> but the AirPods, ox, man. Yeah. The ox bone uh, holiday, holiday that just came out. Oh my God. So what I wanted to ask you was. Yes. Which one's your favorite? Oh, it has to be that one now. The holiday? Yeah, it. It was the okay. Runtley. It probably was the Runtley just because that was the first one and it was fishing right. and no. True. That, the holiday the new, has completely taken over. The new one's fishing too, right? The Was it called the Sikoran or Cimarron? I, Cimarron. Cimarron. Isn't that a fishing style knife too? It's about outdoor and adventure. That's kind of there's, there's you know, that's... Okay, I thought it looked like a fillet knife, kind of like a fishing. It's got I a don't fish, so <laughs> it's got a pro. It does kind of have that profile to it, yeah. Okay, that's yeah. how I took it, but okay, but that one, yeah, that one just. I think it's headed to. I think the Cimarron is headed to the retailers this week. I yeah, think I is what he said. Posting it this week. It's an interest. That one's. It, it's not really appealing to me the design, but it's definitely interesting um the runtley i always thought the runtley was cool again i always just held off because it wasn't 
lefty yep. friendly. Yep. Um, which, like I said, I'm getting over that. So it's kind of like now I'm experiencing all these knives that I <laughs> kind of missed out on. Right. You right. know, uh, which is bad for my bank account, but it's well, awesome for my collection. Well, sure. Um, sure. But yeah, the Rutley was just such a cool looking knife when it came out. And I love their marketing. So um, one thing I wanted to bring up about Finch was, and I don't want to offend anybody, but like, I feel like Finch did what James brand wants to do correctly. Um, that's my take on it. Okay. And I just think they're, they're so good at doing that kind of like modern marketing stuff. Um, but yet they're actually putting out quality products at a decent price. Like they're not charging you $300 for, um, you know, S 35 or whatever. Right. Um, so I just, I don't know. I, I, it's funny to me seeing these new companies and how they're, I kind of grouped them together. Finch, James Brand, Quiet Carry. Um, I kind of put those together. Okay. Um, I'm sure there's more out there. I think Wesson is kind of like that. Um, and I just think Quiet Carry and Finch have just knocked it out of the park where to me, James Brand is more just about the marketing. They're right. more, I think they're marketing towards like, the, the non-knife enthusiast like the guy who's buying the one knife that he's gonna keep you know gotcha. like i don't know maybe Can't. i'm just ranting but i don't have um, i have zero experience with james brand zero so i bought um so this summer uh for my birthday my wife bought me a james brand carter it was the one with okay. the axis lock. Okay. It's like a drop point blade with an axis lock in my carta. So I was sold. Right. right. Um, and the action was just god awful, just mushy. You couldn't get it to drop without massive blade play. Um, it was just like really tiny. And I don't know. It, it just. It just rubbed me the wrong way that they were charging 160 bucks for that. Um, and it was yeah. VG10, you know? I like, like VG. I like VG, VG10. I like but, VG10, but I don't like it at 150 No, I bucks completely agree. Completely agree. So that that's just kind of where my – and then I noticed their knives, like, they, their pricing is just out of this world. Like, and you can compare that to, say, Quiet Carry. Yeah. Where you're looking at a waypoint or a drift, and you're like, 295 bucks which i don't have my waypoint i just sold it um not because i don't love that knife i absolutely adore the waypoint it just isn't fidgety and i'm a fidgety guy and i yeah. didn't carry it and i wanted something else <laughs> so i sold it um and that basically funded the uh secant here right but um right you know that 300 dollars is actually reasonable because you're getting an all titanium build with vanex steel like nobody's using Vanex except for them really um yeah, yeah. so 300 bucks to me is kind of reasonable in that sense uh, it's still a lot of money obviously right but um i don't know so you know you're gonna charge me 300 bucks and give me what m390 probably is what you get from james brand so mm. i don't know those are just my thoughts uh well no i mean that's a, you've got to have your I mean, you have your, like me, I mean, I have my, my thoughts, my druthers on, you know, knives and stuff. And, you know, I started and I was pretty much, I was pretty much all budget. I mean, I, I was, you know, and so I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy a knife that's not a budget knife. And I'm going to see you know, what, what it's all about. So I bought right. a small Sabenza. Oh, okay. Bought a small Sabenza, you know, that's a big jump. <laughs> it is, it is. But I was like, Hey, if I'm going to be talking about knives, I, I should at least have a little bit of experience. So I did. And it's a fantastic knife. I love the knife. They're just, it's extremely well made. Um, and I've said it before, but it's a knife. It cuts. Right. Just like all my other knives cut. <laughs> you know, you know, and it's 
And I know people are like, oh, I can't believe you said that about, well, I mean, at the end of the day, yes, it's a great knife. It's a well-built yeah. knife. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but it cuts. Yeah. And that's just I mean, not my scene. I'm not going to, I am not going to, you know, there's people out there that don't buy any, don't buy a knife. If it's not, le- if it's less than $300, they won't touch it. That's fine. Right. That's their thing. That's what they do, you know, but my whole frame of mind is I don't have to pay that much for a knife. No. Am I going to miss something? Am I going to miss something? Well, I might, you know, and that's okay. So I miss it. That's my. Right. You know, well, and your tastes change, you know, like when I, when I got into knives more hardcore earlier in 2020, um, you know, I, if I spent 50 bucks, that was a lot, you know, I didn't feel like it was just a drop in the bucket or whatever. Um, and over time, my tastes have changed. I've understood what's good and what's not and what I like. And, you know, it all comes down to that. Um, but now if I see a knife that's 50 bucks, I'll just buy it instantly. I won't even bat an eye. <laughs> but it, it's not because I'm, it's not because I'm loaded. It's just, that's just how my knife collecting has gone. And I sell knives regularly. So I have, you know, I, I basically call it my knife account. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I, you know, I spend money out of that, really. I, I haven't spent, like, new money. I don't know how you would say it. Um, you know, I don't do that very often anymore because I'm kind of, like, cycling stuff sure. I bought. Sure. Um, but, yeah, it just kind of evolves. I went from that, like, to now you know i'm buying knives that are like 300 bucks and it's like every other day sometimes um and it's just crazy how your your experience changes but everybody has their own kind of journey in that and it's kind of cool that you kind of without you kind of found it you know your lane and you're just kind of you know you know what you like why you know why mess with that well and Um, you talked about makers right you talked about, yeah. you said makers, designers. I am a huge Laconico fan. Dude, I wish I had my 1.5 here right now. I loaned it out to Jake, uh, Beard of Gear. That, oh, man, I love that knife so much. Oh, let's see. You have one? <laughs> oh, dude. It, it's just absolute perfection to me. For a lefty, specifically, because of that liner lock. Um, yeah. yeah. I wanted a I wanted a 1.0 so bad. Um, and I finally got one. I got one on Knife Swap uh, a few months ago. And I it's such a cool design. Yeah. But that frame lock, as a lefty, it's just so hard to use because your finger is on the, on the oh, frame I can, lock. Oh, yeah. And I mean... And, Even for, you know, smaller, I got to be careful because, you know, I I tend to get up on it a little bit. I really got to, and that's kind of reason why I'm not big on frame locks is because it's just, I have dumb fingers (laughs) and, you know, it's, it's not the nice fault. It's my fault, you know? Well, you know, I can take that both ways, but, (laughs) (laughs) but no, this was, and dude, I love that big red easy didn't you get that from therapeutic edge and uh, women carry knives or something it was a gift it was a the 30th anniversary gift from my wife but peter Peter and christine yes they They got it they got it and they helped facilitate it Uh, christine i think christine uh, it was somebody she works with or something her company works with or something that actually got it powder coated it's powder coated i was going to ask what that is okay that's cool man And it's, you know, it's definitely a one-off. I mean, the coolest thing about it is it's actually the scale signed on the inside. Oh. By Ray. So, I mean, that's just, I mean, this knife is going to be, you know, it's a treasure for the rest of my life. Is that a 1.0 or a 2.0? it's the original. It's an original EZC. That's cool, man. That is, yeah, I I love Laconico. Um, I actually just sold my, I had a drop keen. Um, I had a purple keen with the lefty clip. I, I love the fact that they did a run with lefty clips on it. 
Um, never seen a company do that before. Yeah. Um, it's not reversible. They just did a lefty clip on okay. a righty frame lock. Um, really cool. But, no, I didn't really. Now I didn't see that. Yep. Yeah, they did. They did. No a kidding. Of, uh, okay. All, all colors. Only the full tie or the only the full handle, not with the holes or anything. Right. Um, but yeah, the clip was on the show side there. No um, kidding. You couldn't okay. reverse it or anything. Um, it's in, it's polarizing in the lefty community because a lot of people just think it's hideous, you know. <laughs> um, but I sold it because of the uh, flipper tab. Uh, after having the 1.5 with the jimping on the tab, um, I I always slipped off of that one for some reason because it's smooth. Um, I don't know. I have sweaty hands, so that could be why. But no, I, um, I, I can understand what you're saying because it's it does have a bit of a down kind of a downturn right. to it, or it's I mean it's yeah. probably it's it does it has a I get I get what you're saying. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, and then getting the 1.5 with the liner lock and the jimping on the tab, it just made it so much better. Yeah, that Centauri is really cool. I really want to check one of those out too, but um, I don't want to go into another rant, but front flippers for lefties are extremely tough um, because of the uh, the frame lock again. Yeah. And then you have – you, you don't have the clip there to kind of like hold to give you a grip on the knife. I don't know if you notice, but when you flip that knife right handed, you usually are using the clip somehow. Oh yeah. Give right, you a there. Grip. right there. And you don't, you don't have that left handed and that's why they basically just don't work for lefties. In my opinion, I tried all the Pena X series knives. I got the trapper, the Barlow, the uh, Apache, um, I had a moolah, and it just uh, it just doesn't work because will, of that. I will tell you something. I'm playing with it left-handed, okay? Yeah. See the groove down the center? Yeah, that's a good point. That works? Okay. Is it awkward at all, or does it feel kind of comfortable? Dude, actually, I mean, I am, I'm not left-handed. Well, okay, I shoot left-handed, but, I mean, I'm pretty awkward with my left hand. And to be perfectly yeah. honest with you... That's pretty – I'm not even happening to try. Dude, you want me to send it to you? I mean, if, if, if you don't mind, I'd definitely check it out, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll send it to you to have you check it out. Okay. Yeah. Man, I, if you see anything you want me to send you, man, I'm, I'll get on it right away. So, so yeah, you're definitely, you're definitely welcome to – I'll send it to you, and you can check it out. And But, yeah, like I said, really focus on – because like I said, I am awkward with my left hand and this is not even, it's not even a challenge to flip it because I'm using right. that groove. That's where my grip is. Yeah, and I've heard. So it might be hand size things. too. It could go to hand size. Right. I don't know. But, is that the large? Yeah. Yeah, this is the, okay. this is a large one. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'd definitely be interested to check that out. I've been trying to find a front flipper that works like, the 520 works great because it's a it's a uh, liner lock, so there's no issue there, and gotcha. it's it's wide enough, and that looks wide enough as well that it would work left-handed. But those skinny like Pena knives, they just didn't work for a lefty. I got you. Um, I got you. I'm gonna warn you, my my AirPods are dying. Um, so no, I that's fine. You know, I I, how, what do we be? Oh Christ, man! I think we've been going for. Yeah. Nearly an I hour and a half. Cut it. I no. can talk with you all night, dude. No, I, not at I don't all, man. Backup. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. That's been absolutely awesome, man. And I tell you what, I will I will definitely get the uh I will get it packed up for you and send it off to you. And yeah, I um, appreciate that. Yeah, no problem at all. And if there's I don't know if you wanna whatever else you want to check out, man. You're you're more than welcome to check stuff out um okay but dude thank you so much for doing this this is absolutely awesome i'm really glad you dude. you agreed to it and i wish you all the best with the channel and i think you i think you got a pretty good start and i i, I see you i see you going places bro i really do dude that that's awesome thank you that means a lot coming from you and uh i really appreciate you reaching out this is kind of my first podcast and uh i'm just having 
such a blast doing the channel. Honestly, it's it's been so fun. It's not even like work or a chore or right. anything. It's just right. more fun. So, um, and I really appreciate you. Weekend coming up. Enjoy the family, and we'll be we'll be catching you here some other time. All right. All right, man. Thank you so much, Jody. All have right, brother. Day, you have All a right. good one, bud. Bye, bye. Later.